Welcome to the town of Lewis, situated near the south coast of England. This is where Carl spent a lot of his time a couple of years ago, studying film and media A-levels at the college. Surprisingly though, he didn't get round to fishing any of the local waters, until now that is. Annoyingly, we arrived at Swanborough Fishery just as the rain started, meaning setting up the brolly had to come first. First shot's going out, so let's see what happens. What I always do is I make up my rigs with a quick link on after the swivel. Uh, that just makes things very easy and quick when changing rigs. I also type all my rigs with a loop, um, so I can use whatever rig that I need to change to. I can just loop that on really quickly, and just makes fishing a lot more simple. And there's another rod ready to go out. What happened, Oak? Oh, I fell in the lake. <laughs> That's cold. That's freezing cold. <laughs> ah, now I've got no spare clothes. Um, if it was going to be cold tonight, I would go home and get spare ones. But because it's not supposed to be too bad, I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> be a man. Oh. Damn. That hurt. Oh. Yeah? Got one. That bite was insane. We've only been here like an hour just setting up and then I got the, had the rods out for like 10, 15 minutes and the rod has already ripped off. <laughs> oh my God, insane. Whoa! Ready? Well, the session's going good and bad at the moment. I've already fallen in a freezing cold lake, but I have also just managed to catch myself a really beautiful carp, which has sort of balanced out the session. But now I'm really happy with how the session's going at the moment and it's only just begun. Yeah, uh, you sort out the fish, I'll, I'll hit it, yeah? yeah? Put it in the net, put it in the net. Yeah, just 
just rest them in the mould. I was just about to do photos of Alex's mirror and whilst he had it in his hand, his other rod's gone off, so I've made him put the fish in the net down there so I can still get a photo. We don't want it to go back just yet. And uh, I've hit his rod for him. <laughs> Two fish in about an hour of fishing. That's not a bad start, is it? No, pretty good. <sighs> okay. Yeah, depends. Uh. <laughs> oh, stupid fish. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, camera's still going. <laughs> Excellent, I literally cannot believe it. Two fish, one after another, common and a mirror. In winter as well. Yeah, man, the fish are freezing cold. It's like holding, I don't know, it's like holding an ice lolly. Mm. Apart from it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> Brilliant. Beautiful. What a brilliant start to the session. that the finished rig ready to hook any unsuspecting carpy in the lake <laughs> nice well here we are at Swanborough fishery and uh, it's actually the first time we fished it properly I did pop down earlier in the week um, just for a, literally just a few hours with my friend Dan He's actually had quite a lot of really nice fish from here over the years. He's fished it quite a lot. He's kind of why we why we came today. Um, he told me about the lake, said there's quite a lot of nice fish in here, so hopefully we're going to catch a few more. So I've clipped up to the same distance Alex was fishing, because he's had a couple of fish already. Uh, it's about 15 wraps, maybe just, just about halfway across where I believe there to be a sort of silty gully out there. So I've got a bit of spod mix made up. So in my spod mix, well, I've got a bit of bread, a bit of maggots, and some crushed up boilies, all very fine and fluffy. I'm hoping it'll attract the fish into the swim but not give them too much to eat. I'm just gonna cast these out to the distance that were clipped up, get the fish feeding, and then get the rods out. And as usual, I'm using my favourite bait, and that's corn. On this rig, I've got three grains of fake slow sinking corn, and that's what I had the fish on earlier. So there's hope of catching me another one. There we go, all set. Now I'm going to go back in my sleeping bag to try and get warm. See you in a bit. Well that's the last rod out, all I need to do is clip on the back head and then I'm all set. Hopefully I can catch up with Alex. How you doing? I'm just checking through some pictures that I just took. 
Ooh. Show me your best photo, Alex. This is all right. It's nice, Alex. I like this guy. Evening came around, and as usual, the bankside delicacy that is super noodles were on the menu. Yeah, I do look like I like your eyes. <laughs> Stop it. What do you think of revision? Rubbish. <laughs> But at least I can do it on the bank. I can't listen out for carp jumping. <laughs> So yesterday evening, we actually saw a few fish jump and we thought, yeah, we'll, we'll get a few bites this evening. Um, but actually, no bites whatsoever. And it was like midnight, I woke up a few times, still no bites, I was getting a little bit worried. But um, it's three o'clock in the morning, that's when the bite started. Well, you had a bite at three that you lost. Yeah. Um, and then just shortly afterwards, closer to four o'clock, you had the beautiful fully scaled mirror. Then a little bit later on, literally probably half an hour later we yeah. were here in the bush I was, I was laying in my sleeping bag yeah, just with my ear know. like poking out the sleeping bag it's quite cold but i was listening out and you could just hear them going Quick, stosh, one after another and i was just thinking right there's all these fish boshing around the area i've yeah. got to get a bite up until this point alex had then caught three fish and i was still yet to catch one so i was sat in my bed probably four in the morning waiting thinking come on rods just go off give me a break let me catch one and then all of a sudden it did rip off got a bit tangled around the other line and it came in really close right underneath the rod tip sort of didn't really fight very much and then all of a sudden it woke up didn't it it just yeah, went, it went, zzz, it went a massive run it pulled yards and yards of line going zzz, 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 I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is a little bit bigger than I first thought finally got it in the net and yes, it was bigger than I first thought. Not quite a 20, but both brilliant fish. Yeah. Anyway, the session's sort of coming to an end now. We paid for a 24 hour ticket. It wasn't too expensive, but we need to be off soon. So let's have a look at the fish we caught last night and then we'll be heading off. One take wonder. That's good. Brap. <laughs> Well, here it is. Here's my fish from this morning. We were told by one of the locals that early morning was what they call bite time. And literally, a couple of hours before it got light is when it all kicked off for us both. I nearly got hit in the face then, Alex. Oops. We were seeing them, well, we were hearing them splashing out all in front of us. And all of a sudden, my rod ripped off. Look at that. What a stunning carp. Incredible scales on it. And uh, it did put up the most amazing scrap. So it turns out, Swanborough Farm Fishery is a definite good place to get a bite in winter. Incredible action. When we arrived yesterday, and soon after arriving, I had that scaly mirror. I was happy, but this is next level. Those scales are just incredible. And I'm loving this place, Swanborough Farm Fishery. <laughs> Never been here before, I don't know why. 
This is epic. However good this fish is, I'm starving now. I did not pack enough food for the night. So after we put this one back, we're gonna head into Lewis, get some food, and then go and see if we can find some carp in the canal. Yeah! <laughs> Before leaving, we decided to clear our swim of other people's rubbish so the next anglers to fish our swim could relax in a clean environment. We'd like to encourage everyone who watches this video to do the same if they can. Thanks a lot. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. On arrival at Tesco, we realised it didn't open until 9, so we had a quick walk around the town and look for some fish in the river. Now we've got to get something for you to eat rather than fish. Well, it's a beautiful day, we've got some food, and now we're on our way to the canal. Alex is up for feeding, he's got shortbread chocolate biscuit things. I'm up for feeding, I've got a Twix, and hopefully the fish are up for feeding, because they've got some bread. Right, so now all we need to do is get a, per a parking ticket. Which doesn't cost very much. Then go and catch a few carp. Oh, no. Yeah. It's free. No. Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yes! Oh, hey, hey, big, big carp just took off the surface. He just took off the surface. Did you see him? Yeah, he's a decent one as well. Woohoo! So we're here at the canal in Lewis. It's um, called the Pells and Cole, when he went to college here, he used to come here and feed the fish every day and it's really clear and Cole says there's lots of carp in here. But we bought our permits for the fishing here at the town hall, what, last week? Yeah. Um, so that's like three quid for the year, incredible. So um, we'll see if we can stalk out a few carp. Go get your net. First one of the day. Well, no. <laughs> you had one this morning. You had two this morning. My first little carp of a session on this little canal. I can't believe how confidently he took it. But let's hope there's plenty more to come. Alex, there's definitely plenty more yeah. to come. Let's put it back. <laughs> The dog is trying to help you get the fish out. Straight off. 
And what I normally do is before I go off and try and catch another one, instead of when I see a fish I put a bait on which takes time, I get a bait on now so I can walk around with the uh, bait dangling from the rod I can just cast a fish straight away if I see it. I've actually been getting quite the fish on just double corn. Free lining corn like the old days. Like the old days. Lovely. Yep. Ah. That is a surprise. So I didn't think we were going to catch a roach. <laughs> On a piece of bread? Yeah. That's it. I want to know what he is. Well, what a brilliant way to spend a few hours. And we went to the day ticket lake and uh, had some beautiful fish. Had bigger fish than we'll catch from here, but when the ticket for me cost about five pounds for the year for this bit of canal, and uh, the ticket for Alex cost about three pounds, you can't say no. Fish juggling a limp. Oh. And he splashed me. That's it. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eventually, Alex. Oh, it's a nice long one out. Look at the size of that. That's the biggest one by a mile. That's the best I've seen here. Yeah? The best one you've seen best out of this? I've seen out of this water. <laughs> you don't often see them this sort of size then, no? No, that's got to be a good six. It's quite long. There you have it, the last fish of the day, and this one was certainly hard to get. They just all disappeared, like literally just couldn't find a fish anywhere. But look at walking up and down, walking up and down. We probably did three or four laps just up and down this whole stretch and uh, couldn't find anything. Eventually, someone was feeding the ducks, and out the corner of my eye, I saw a carp just come up and take one of the bits of bread that they were feeding the ducks. Quickly ran back, got some bread, flicked it out, and didn't take long to get a bite. It just shows location is 100% the most important thing with fishing. But we've had a great weekend fishing for carp. It's been pretty mild weather and we've had some beautiful long lean fighting machines like this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.